Hello friends, Dr. Poonam Sambhaji here, Child and Newborn Specialist from North Goa, Poro Rim. And uh, today's question is something regarding these suppositories and multiple questions that I have been getting under my videos regarding suppositories. Okay, so there will be a link here wherein I will just uh, link one of the suppository videos so you will get the others also or in between I will put the links on all the suppository videos somewhere here in the i button so that you have an idea which videos I am talking about. So this is basically the suppository which can be used for multiple things like like for fever, for constipation, there are suppositories even for seizures, that is when the child gets fits, okay, there are suppositories for painkiller also. Now, there are multiple questions which have come under the video. The first one is, should we keep the, uh, ref, uh, the suppository in the refrigerator always? Not necessary that it should be kept in the refrigerator. Basically, it should be hard enough, okay? Because if it is soft, it will not go inside the anus and it will just bend and it will not go inside the anus. So, for it to be, um, uh, it, it, it needs to be uh, firm enough that it goes inside the anus. The second question was, what are the strains? Now, the strains depend upon the different different type of medications. Uh, it is a different strength for glycerin suppository, different strength for fever suppository, different strength for uh, uh, the, uh, the diazepam suppositories, okay, for diclofenac suppositories, different strength depending upon the molecule which we are giving in this, okay. So now if you ask me about uh, fever medicine because that is what I use it very often for, okay, so fever is one of the indication for which I use it very often. So for fever, the different strains which are available are 80 milligram, 125 milligram. There are few companies which come with the 125 milligram. Then there is a 170 milligram, 250 milligram, and then 500 milligram also. Okay. Uh, then there are different ones uh, which uh, come in the. Uh, then there are different ones which come in different other strains. There was a phone call coming, so I just cancelled it. Okay. So we basically need to see that uh, we are using the proper strain. The next question is how to use if I need to use half of it like uh, this question was asked by me uh, asked to me by one follower who said her child's weight is 50 kilo 50 uh, I mean 5 kilos and 5 kilos and she wanted to use something like 50 milligram but the strengths are starting from 80 milligram. So in that case what you have to do is you have to cut the suppository into half. Now if you cut the suppository into half suppose if this is the suppository and you cut it into half you may cut it half like this so uh, in this way you are going to if I if I tell you to cut it into half you may end up cutting it into half like this this way okay so if you cut it this way that is uh, if you cut it this way okay so this will be one part this will be one part now if you cut it this way you will be able to use only this part but you won't be able to use the other part because it is blunt then how you are going to uh, uh, push it inside if it is blunt okay. So the best way to cut the suppository is not this way but rather you cut it longitudinally that is you cut it in the lengthwise. So when you cut it lengthwise it is easy for you to cut it. So now I will just show you the lengthwise cutting with the marker. I will mark it with the marker. Give me one second. So what I mean is when you cut, see to it that you cut it lengthwise and not the breadthwise. Okay. So when you cut it lengthwise like this, so you'll get two halves. Both will have a point. So it will be easy for you to insert it inside the anus. Okay. But again, see that it is hard enough and in that case you keep it in the fridge because the size becomes thinner, right? So, right? so you can break easily. So be careful while putting it inside. But you can very well do it. Now what to do if it comes out in the fork? Okay, this was one more question. Like I put the suppository in and it, it's coming out. The baby passes motion and it's coming out. Okay, uh, so what should I do with the suppository? So it's quite okay. If it comes out with the poop, you can put it inside again because finally this suppository is going in the poop area itself, right? So there is no harm in putting it back again. If immediately the baby passes the suppository and suppository is intact in the same form that you had put it inside, then you don't have to worry. Just pick it up, put it inside. Or if you don't want to do it, just throw it and use another one. That's it, okay? Uh, next question was, will it hurt my baby if I use suppository? See, the size of the suppository is not at all 
bigger than the poop of the baby right so whatever is the size of the feces of the baby this supposed to be such a tiny mini thing it will not at all hurt your baby okay neither is it going to harm the baby it will you have to just push it inside and, and then just wait for the magic to happen now what happens when you use suppository is there are certain blood vessels over there in the, in the anal area okay uh, which help in direct absorption of nutrients and direct absorption of medicines from there okay it, it does not require to go through the full process of digestion what happens with the syrup formulations where we take by mouth or by tablets we take by mouth it goes to the stomach then it gets disintegrated then it goes to the rest of the intestine then it gets absorbed and then it will affect the baby uh, i mean show the effect of the medicine whereas this gets directly absorbed that's the reason it acts faster and uh, there are always no chances of vomiting right so if you give it to the baby there are less chances of the baby vomiting it out so i think that's it for all the questions regarding suppositories thanks for asking me all the questions under my video thanks for following me all those who are watching me for the first time i am dr punam sambhaji child specialist from north goa purwari you can very well ask me your questions regarding baby care in the uh, comment section below there is also one super thanks uh, sticker which will be there somewhere down here wherein you can uh, attach the super thanks to your comment in case you want me to answer your question in the comment itself otherwise you have to wait for my uh, this thing video to be uploaded answering your question now these were the questions which are asked by multiple parents i hope i have answered them and i hope you have got your answers thank you bye bye